going to look at here is how Solid Edge is leading the way in data migration. We're going to start by opening an existing SolidWorks part and we're going to open that up into obviously a Solid Edge part file and this will do the conversion um, directly without having to use a um, Parasolid or IGIS translation and as you can see, like most products, it creates a um, done solid with no history. Now in Solid Edge, that's not really a problem because we have the synchronous technology which allows us to modify faces um, as we need to. Um, but what we'd like to do is just make this a little bit more usable. And we have also the 2D drawing of this part. So if we open that up, now if we have a quick look, uh, we've got a scale on here of 1 to 5, we've got a um, detail view with a scale of 2 to 5. So um, what we're going to do is reuse this geometry. Um, as you can see we've got some geometric tolerancing, if we use our smart select we could actually just pick up all of those and transfer them to a different layer so that we're not using them. In this case, we'll just um, hide these. Now, if we go to our create 3D command, we could take those sketches and add them to a new file to generate the geometry, but we already have the geometry, so we're going to add it to the existing file of the one that we just saved. So, we want front view, um, put to scale, one to five, and we start off by just fence selecting that region. Then if we go next, we can pick up on a different view. And next again, we'll pick up on the um, plan view. And then we'll go finish. Basically what it does is it copy those three sketches onto um, the model as um, separate geometry. So as you can see, we, we, we have that here. What we want to do though, is we want to take each of these sketches and attach those dimensions to the model. So if we hide our sketches, you can see that we ha now have them sitting over the top of the model. And just to prove this, we can um, pick up off this dimension here. Um, we have an option on here of, of moving the model in, in either direction or both directions. We want to move these holes off to the left. Um, I can use my scroll wheel just to shuffle them over. Um, as you can see, both holes are moving because they have a coaxial um, alignment. So moving one will move the other. Um, if we don't want that, has, that to happen, we can turn off those um, constraints on the live rules. So now if we hide our sketches again, Turn on the um, second one. Let's hide the PMI for the moment. And again, attach those PMI dimensions. And finally, on the third one. So let's hide those sketches. So now you can see that we have um, various different things being attached. If we pick up on, on this one here, um, we can move it in both directions if we want to. So we can make these um, ribs fatter. Um, because of our symmetry rules, you can see both sides changing. So we have a lot of control over our model now. Now what we want to do is give this a little bit more intelligence and the way that we can do this is to um, use a new feature in ST5 which is to um, recognize holes. So if we, we just open this option we can see that we've got 
um, three sets of holes. There's one here, which is a, a simple 12.7 half inch hole. We have a um, couple of holes on the front face and a couple of holes on the side flange. So if we wanted to, we could actually change those um, values um, directly now. But what we'll do is we'll just say OK to that. Um, if you've got a lot of holes on, on the part, you get the option of choosing it face by face. So now we have some actual features in here. And if we click on one of these, we can see that um, we actually have um, a direct relationship to these um, holes now. Likewise, um, the one at the top and the ones in the front face. So um, if we really want to, we could, we could adjust those and um, change them to suit. So now that we've, um, we've got our model that is customizable, um, what we may want to do is we well, what we will want to do is to um, take this back to um, our 2D drawing. And um, this, this, this is an easy process now. So if we save this, go File, New, we can do a Create Drawing. So we want to take that into a 2D draft file. And we go straight into the wizard and we can select our um, front face. If we want to, we can select our other views at this stage. I'll just take the first one and place it over here and um, automatically it takes me into um, placing other, other auxiliary views. So if I finish out there, um, I can use my retrieve dimensions command and this will actually just give us our dimensions back to, um, to what we started with in the um, original imported 2D drawing. So you can see that we've um, actually created our um, working model back from the original quite easily. I hope this, this all makes sense and um, we'll speak to you next time.